Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Hey, oh, Janessa Bree, gold. Mikhailovich, silver. And then we got a man child and an. Uh, uh, no, no, an, a man child, I think you're going to take the bronze. You're going to take the bronze. Everybody else, you're going to get the love, as you always do. Where is the love? How's everybody doing tonight? Or today, depending on where you are. I'm sorry, by the way. I know somebody sent me a message uh, recently saying, hey, I live in Germany and these lives are very inconvenient for my life cycle, time stuff. I apologize to anybody living <clears throat> in a place where these lives aren't convenient to be live for you. I really do. Um, I try to kind of pop around and do them, you know, in different parts of the day so I can get to other folks and just keep it spontaneous, but it just doesn't work like, like that. It just doesn't always work like that. Mm -hmm. But I did promise you guys some karaoke, so that's what we're into tonight. I mean, you know, to an extent. I'm going to do my best. I got my, my iPad is here. It's charged. It wasn't charged the other night. My iPad has this incredible ability to, I mean, I'll let, it'll sit for a day. It's in this, uh, it's in this Logitech, uh, keyboard kind of deal. And I think what happens is it, um, it accidentally like presses into the power button and we'll turn it on and it'll just drain the battery down. I just think it's really unfortunately faulty engineering. I think Logitech is a lovely company. I've owned plenty of their things over the years, but I think this particular thing is not all that well engineered. <clears throat> In my humble engineering opinion. Would I consider playing a, more like a villain like Tom Cruise in Collateral? Fuck yeah, I would love to play a role like that. Currently 11 a.m. in Sydney. Hey, hey, happy Sunday, brah. I look like Eminem in this hoodie? I mean, I'll take it. He's a, you know very successful <laughs> uh, person all the way around. Chuck is the best series ever. You are correct and you have excellent taste. <clears throat> you know what's weird right now? It's like it's Saturday night. It's 8.30 on a Saturday night. 9.30 on a Saturday night in New York or any Miami. Uh, 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 6.30, getting into the evening. I mean, nobody's really out in LA uh, <clears throat> uh, that early, but but like nobody's out anywhere. <laughs> Everyone can be counted on to be right here. <laughs> this is insane. It's insane. Well, not everybody. As we've discussed, there are many people that are actually working very hard right now, and we need to be very grateful that they are all working very hard right now, specifically, but not uh, entirely summed up in our our medical workers all the way around the world. Please love on them as hard as possible. Pray for them. L pray for the world. Lift up the world in prayer and petition, guys. It, I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in it. I don't necessarily think it does all of the things that other people think it does, but I do think it's important that we, well, if you acknowledge, if you think that there is a creator or author to all of this, to commune with it and, and you know, and just put your heart out there and your, and your thoughts out there. And... Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Um, so that, yeah, I think that's important because it, it, in that connection, it can really help to center and ground you and, and help you to have, uh, deeper wisdoms and empathies, I believe, and, and even have just better understanding about a variety of things, including oneself. But I also would advise that you should not leave the getting to know yourself just to prayer and petition, um, and reading, but also go and work with a qualified professional who understands psychology and understands very modern or the, you know, most modern of psychology. Um, because I do think a lot of people, unfortunately, are kind of uh, encouraged or instructed um, to not seek um, psychological, mental, emotional um, help beyond sometimes their, the confines of their own religions um, or beliefs. And I, uh, with all due respect to all of those religions, I think that is um, short-sighted. I think that uh, you can honor your religion and you can honor the fact, uh, you can honor yourself and what God has has given us through science and through doctors and uh, and that it includes even psychologically. So 
please go and seek help. If you are struggling with anything in your life right now, please go and, well, it's a difficult time in the world right now to go seek all of the help, but at the very least, you can absolutely be calling people uh, that you know and trust and talk to them. If you're struggling right now, a lot of people are struggling in this time where we're quarantined. It's it's so weird and so bizarre and sad and um, challenging, but I have every faith that we're going to make it through this, guys, and we're going to be better on the other side. So uh, that, th those are my prayers we are going to be better on the other side. And I believe it, I do. I believe like in my heart, I think we're gonna, good stuff can come from this. Good stuff will come from this. Anyway, that's that rant. Welcome to Zach's Rants. That's what I'll call my Instagram live, oh, Zach's Rants. having a tough day no motivation to get out of bed or do anything today i'm so sorry darling i think darling your name yeah caitlin um although as i've stated i, I do call i do call men darling as well um or babe occasionally depends on the guy um i caitlin i'm so, i'm so sorry uh that today's been tough i completely relate um, I think, you know, weather also, uh, affects me greatly and the weather in uh, Texas where I'm at right now has been real, uh, no bueno. <laughs> it's just, it's been, it like got cold again and, uh, it got real rainy and gray and, and it just like zaps me. I'm already like, you know, having whatever I'm struggling with or, or working through. And then all of a sudden the weather is just like, and you're going to be completely without any version of weather happiness. Uh, and that's tough. I mean, some people, it doesn't affect them as much. I, I definitely uh, get nailed with it. I've been really trying to work on my posture, guys. I think my posture has been like real bad for most of my life. Not I think. I know my posture has been real bad most of my life. And I think it's been wreaking havoc on my body, including even some of my gut stuff that I've been dealing with. I think there, there could be uh, some correlation between the spine and my gut. Well, there is actually correlation between your spine and every organ in your body. Um, that is a fact. That's why things like chiropractic adjustments and uh, acupunctures and acupressures and things of that nature are very valuable. I would look into those if you are struggling, uh, not even just physically with your back, but there could be so many other things in your life that can be recorrected uh, if you can correct and strengthen those troubled areas. Did I shave my beard? What? What does that look like? <laughs> Is this not good enough for you? <laughs> I spent all my time grooming this, and now you say it's not even a beard. Y'all, I just had such a good ugly cry. Eh, it was borderline ugly, ugly cry. It wasn't like ugly, ugly cry, but it was, it was, um, could not stop crying, cry. <laughs> um, because I watched the... Um, Mr. Rogers documentary on HBO again. So my second time, two people that I was with had not seen it. I was like, bah! halt everything, put all things down. You're watching this documentary right now. And um, I had already seen it and cried my eyes out when I saw it in the theater. And I thought, well, certainly it's not going to wreck me as hard the second time. It wrecked me even more hard in some ways the second time. More hard? Harder? Whatever. Um, Holy crap, I just, I just, he was such, uh, he was such a good man. He was such a good man who I fully believe God was working through, like doing incredible things through the, the earnestness, the honesty, the vulnerability, the transparency, the, the love, the love, the empathy, the kindness, the patience, the, the, the guy was, and he was that. He wasn't just acting that. He was that because he genuinely believed it and he cared. 
And yes, he made one of the str- st- arguably strangest, cheesiest in, in production television shows ever made, but the, the heart of all of it was just the most on point everything. Go watch that documentary. Seriously, if you get, if you get the opportunity, go, go watch that documentary. It's so good and it's so inspiring. And we all should be aspiring to be more like that, I think really believe that that would um, make this world go around so much groovier, so much groovier, to love ourselves and love each other, to love ourselves and love each other, to love ourselves and love each other, to love ourselves and love each other. Let that be a mantra. Let that be something that we pray and that we say and that we do. Uh, I'm an Enneagram 7. Thanks for playing the Zach's Rams Enneagram game. <laughs> I really hope somebody puts some animatics in here. <laughs> Too much. Too much. You used to zip up your coats like Mr. Rogers when you were younger. That's fantastic. The name of the documentary, I think, is called Won't You Be My Neighbor? Or is that the name of the movie that Tom Hanks did? I can't, they, I can't remember. I can't remember. I suppose I could look it up right now. Duh. Burr. Uh, won't... Man, I am the worst typist. Won't You Be My Neighbor is the name of the documentary. And just to be clear, uh, the Tom Hanks movie is A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. So there you go. That's what's up. Um, okay. Well, I, I promise you karaoke, so. Zach, zach Yoki. Kara Zaki. Thanks for the hearts. Always appreciate the hearts. Ah! <clears throat> I love that I, um, <laughs> can, the, my, my neighbors, when I lived in LA, were very close to my house, and I was a, louder than normal uh, uh, neighbor, I'm, I'm sure. I think they were also very sensitive in the aural department and didn't like me very much because of um, some of the get-togethers and things I would have at my house, which I don't think were, uh, were excessive from my point of view, but I think from theirs that they were. At any rate, I had to be a the sound police the noise Nazi, like to everyone who came over to my house after a certain time, I'd have to constantly shush them, like constantly, <laughs> constantly. People out in the back patio smoking cigarettes, and they're just having a normal, but normal level conversation. And I'd have to like come out the sliding door and door be like, shh, guys, I know it's like, because my neighbors, they think that he's sleeping right there. And I just, if you, can, you can stay out here and talk, but you just got to be quiet. I hated being that guy. Now I live with some room around me so I can scream at the top of my lungs. Other than, of course, my fellow ranch mates being like, what are you doing right now? But it's, you know, 845. They're fine. I'm scaring, I'm scaring the dogs inside and I'm scaring off the coyotes outside. It's great. Fantastic. Still waiting on a song request. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, well, that's not a song request, but, um, but, it's, but it reminded me of... So uh, I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands could be time spent with you. Laughing like children, living like lovers, rolling like thunder under the covers. And I guess that's why they call it the blues. All right, that's one. Also, I don't think I'm going to be doing like full songs. I don't th- <laughs> sing the Joe Exotic song. <laughs> uh, I could never. I, I I would never be able to do that song or any of those songs justice. Really. Also, who sang the Joe Exotic songs? Because Joe didn't. That that's for sure. Joe Exotic or uh, uh, Maldonado. Well, what did his last? Did you notice? Did anybody else notice how he kept changing his last name every time he got married? Like he wanted to distance himself from that 
last name so badly that he created a fake one and then kept changing it to his next husband's last name. Like crazy. Wah, wah. <laughs> I saw a tiger and a tiger saw a man. <laughs> That's right. Oh my goodness. Oh, <clears throat> ain't no sunshine. That's a great one. Hold on, but I'm not, guys. I'm really bad with lyrics. Just FYI. So I gotta like, I gotta look up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Um, <clears throat> ain't no sunshine. Yeah, here we go. I mean, I should know these lyrics. It would be better. Oh, come on. Oh, this did this to me the other day. Search it. Give it to me. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> what, what? I, uh, <clears throat> Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm -mm -mm. It's not warm when she's away. Mm -mm -mm. You know the sunshine when she's gone And she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Dun, dun. And I know, 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 I know There's so many I knows That's all I'm gonna do with that one <laughs> <laughs> you get it. It's 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 karaoke tastes. It's a it's a karaoke appetizer sampler planner. And that's what we're doing. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Another one I loved. Hold up, some other Bill Withers. Um, I love "Use Me Up." It's so good. Until you use me up. Baby, baby. Oh, some something stupid Sinatra. I don't know something stupid, but I'll do another Sinatra song. Um, what Sinatra song should we do? Um, well, I mean, lean on me. When you're not strong And I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on For it won't be long Till I'm gonna need Somebody to lean on You're just a call on me, brother when you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'd understand. We all need somebody to lean on. There you go. Little lean on me. Man, so sad that Bill Weathers died. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's inevitable, right? Like, we're all going to get there, guys. He lived a... I don't know him personally. I don't really know his life all that uh, meticulously. But seemingly, he lived a pretty great life and touched a lot of people's lives. I hope th the same for all of us, that, you know, by the time we get to the end. Oh, I was looking up Sinatra. What's... Um, mm, what's... Mm, <clears throat> there's so many great big band songs we could do right now. Um... And I've already done Fly Me to the Moon. How about, um, how about, um, <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to, I know, somebody's got to give it to me. I can't just pick it. It's the first Sinatra tune that comes up. Uh, hi, buddy. What's up? You want to say hi, everybody? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up? I think he's looking for more food when she's not going to get here. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. 
so deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I've tried so not to give in. I've said to myself, this affair never will go so well. So why do I try to resist when, baby, I know so well I've got you under my skin. I would sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near, in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats how it yells in my ear. Oh, don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Why not choose your mentality? Step up, wake up to reality. Cause each time I do just the thought of you makes me stop just before I begin. Cause I've got you, I've got you under my skin. Oh, 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 I've got you, I've got you under my skin. Love me some Frankie. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. And E is even more than anyone that you adore in love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just the game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was made for me and love it ever was made for me and love was made for me and you. Do-do, 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 die. I really love Big Band. A lot. So hot. Want to touch the hiney. Oh, say steel. Come on, girl. Still taking you down to some uh, hooping. We're going to go do some one-on-one -on -one or some horse. Oh, also, uh, Sage Steel challenged me to a plank competition tonight on her live, uh, which I have accepted. So, uh, I think, uh, Sage, what was your, what were your, uh, your record was, what? Oh, the dog's what? Yeah. Oh. You guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, oh, hey girl, hey Bruno. What's up, Ben Bruno? When are you going to come out and train with us, bro? Come on, dude. Bring, bring your talents. Bring your talents to Austin, bro. Sage, yes, bring it. I got that. What's your time? What's your, what's your, what's your record right now? <clears throat> All right, four. No, that that was when you were younger. Yes, four forty-five. Yes, I, we. You were like not second in your sororities deal or whatever. I get that, but what is it now? It's like two minutes, fifteen seconds. Uh, oh, excuse me, that should have been a lot louder. My eyes are my eyes are kind of like a hazel. They're like a hazel. Yeah, right, Ben. 445 plank, super. But she's not there right now. That was when, you know, that was back in the day. Ooh, free falling. Yeah, let's do that one. Free falling. Yeah. She's a good girl. Loves her mama. Loves Jesus. In America, too. She's a good girl who's crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and a boyfriend, too. And then instrumental. It's a long day living in Reseda. There's a freeway 
running through the yard and I'm a bad boy cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart now I'm free <laughs> I should have started <laughs> I should have started that a little lower now I'm free free falling anyway what's next You got goosebumps. No, you didn't. Sing Imagine by John Lennon. Okay. Imagine. That doesn't look right. I'm a bit of a Luddite sometimes, guys. I don't know how to work my own computer. See you know what I'm talking about? Ew, ew, ew. No, I feel like, you know what? That's been sung already recently, and um, and there's other songs to sing. I'm gonna sing something else, or maybe not. Imagine there's no heaven. Yeah, it's worth singing, isn't it? It's such a great song. Imagine, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us, only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Oh, you may say I'm a dreamer. Oh, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us And the world will be as one Yeah, it's worth singing. It's a great song. Man, I really do hope for that day. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's one of the reasons I cry so hard when I watch this Mr. Rogers documentary. Like, that guy, he was onto it he get he got it that we are all worthy of 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 inhabiting the space that we exist in in this life you are worthy of that you are worthy of occupying the space that you inhabit in this world that is true you are worthy of the love that you receive you are worthy of love simply because you are that is true it is true. I don't care what anyone else tells you. I don't, what, I don't care what your parents or society or schooling or country. I don't care what anybody else says. And I, by the way, and I'm also not trying to even be confrontational with them. I, I believe the same of them, even though I think they might be wrong if they're telling you other than this. We have got to start possibly for the first time in human history, genuinely loving ourselves and each other. We got, we got to, guys. We got to. Literally, the future of everything hangs in the balance. Not this rock of the earth. It will go on far longer than we will ever be around. But, guys, come on. We can do it. I really believe in us. I fucking believe in us. We can do it. Ugh. Anyway. <clears throat> or something else. Give me another tune. <laughs> the lady's singing for a <laughs> singing for a dinner tonight. <laughs> what am I even doing? What am I even doing over here? Oh man! Try a little tenderness. Oh man, I love Otis. I might do some. Uh, I don't. Mm, mm, I don't. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know that I know Otis well enough, and I feel like I would <laughs> probably just butcher it. Oh, those Hollywood nights, da 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 da, in those Hollywood hills. Hold on, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, Hollywood. I did this last time, I don't know those lyrics. The busy night, 
is a devil in steel. No, come on. Come on, do it. I'm trying to type correctly. It's always taking me somewhere else. I don't like it. There we go. Bob Seger, Hollywood Nights. No, Diamonds and Frills. That's what it is. You ever do a, a song in karaoke and you are learning so many of the lyrics for the first time? You're like, what the fuck? This is what they're saying? I had no idea. I was so confused. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't know. Come on, come with me. Come with me if you want to sing. <laughs> um, I don't know the... I can't think of the, uh, like, the verses, but I can do the chorus. In those Hollywood nights, in those Hollywood hills, she was looking so right, in her diamond sound frills, in those big city nights, in those high rolling hills, I don't know where he goes with that. Above all the lights, she had all of the skills. I, I'm sure I butchered that on some level too. But hey, you know what, guys? We're going with it. We're just ooh, careless whisper. Ooh, ooh. Wow, I've never done that one before. I don't think. I have done some other. Um... No, no, no. I got it. I got it. This is what we'll be singing. Uh... <laughs> this is what we'll be singing. Um, oh, come on. That should just immediately come up. Why are we even screwing around? Uh, boop. Bloody hell. I want the lyrics. I don't want... Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? It's not giving me the deal. Yeah, I do... I do I... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Um... <laughs> Heaven knows I was just a young boy Didn't know what I wanted to be Didn't know what I wanted to be I was every little hungry schoolgirl's pride and joy And I guess it was enough for me And I guess it was enough for me to win the race, a prettier face, the brand new clothes, and a big fat place on the rock and roll TV, rock and roll TV. But today, the way I play the game is not the same, no way. I think I'm gonna get myself happy. I think I'm gonna get myself happy. I think there's something you should know I think it's time I told you so There's something deep inside of me There's something else I've got to be Take back your picture in a frame Take back your singing in the rain I hope you understand That sometimes the clothes do not make the man All we have to do now Is take these lies and make them true somehow All we have to see Is that I don't belong to you And you don't belong to me At your freedom I won't let you down Freedom Not gonna give you a freedom I don't thought you gotta give her what you take Freedom, not gonna let you down. Freedom, not gonna give you a freedom. But sometimes you gotta give her what you take. Yeah, I fucking love that song so much. I've done that at karaoke a, a handful of times. Mm. My buddy Stephen McMorrin and I uh, sang it together in Mexico over a New Year's trip. Oh my god, literally the whole restaurant, there was like a whole restaurant packed full of people. We crushed it. It was so much fun. Oh, Tracy Chapman giving one reason? Yeah, meow. Meow. Meow, meow. I think I've got the meows in me now because I watched that Mr. Rogers documentary. And Mr. Meow. <laughs> By the way, did Broken Lizard, can somebody confirm or deny whether or not Broken Lizard kind of got their meow meow stuff from Mr. Rogers? I feel like it should should happen it should have happened it probably it's probably i'm just gonna leave that alone right meow go ask him right meow
I'll be there for you, friends. I'll be there for you, friends? What song is that? What song is that? Say, I don't know that song. Yeah, by the way, you, you guys are also getting a lot, a lot of just my silly voices. Because this is what I do a lot of the time. Silly voices. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Da -da -da -da. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Oh, yeah, I want to dance with somebody. Da -da -da -da. With somebody who loves me. Don't you want to dance? Say you want to dance. Don't you want to dance? Dance. Don't you want to dance? Say you want to dance. Don't you <laughs> Yeah, get a Zach. <clears throat> oh, I think dinner might be... No, dinner might still be cooking. The Friends theme song? Come on. So no one told you that life's gonna be this way. Your life's a joke, you broke. Your love life's the old way. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. Cause when it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year Cause I'll be there for you When the rain starts to fall I'll be there for you Cause you've been there for me too <laughs> I don't know what the rest of It was always truncated, you know, cause the The opening of the show always got shorter Cause they wanted to put more Dinner's ready. Dinner is ready. Guys, I'm going to have a little din-din. I, I might come find you later for some more singing. Sound like a plane? Okay. Love you lots.